Hi guys, program manager interviews. So one of my YouTube subscribers asked me if I would talk through these interviews. I recruited program managers for three of my five years at Google and I can tell you that the complexity of these positions is unbelievable and so we're going to talk through a lot of items today and I really want to apply my knowledge of those three years at Google to help you get the job. If you like my content, please like. If you have any comments, please comment below. And if you like my overall content, please subscribe. Let's dive right in. Item one is all about wearing multiple hats. So any program manager knows, right, the role is very complex. The program managers are really covering three roles. They're program managers, which in part is a project manager, and in part oftentimes will also have some product management as well. And so as you're preparing, you want to be looking at product management questions and project management questions as well. So when you're thinking in the product manager space, product managers tend to be entrepreneurial, uh, customer focused, industry focused, obviously obsessed with having great quality, having this kind of vision and strategic roadmap and ultimately focused on an ROI. Now, if you're flipping over to a project manager, they're going to be a little bit more focused on fundamentals, so scheduling, resourcing, scope, um, thinking about not only the risk, but who are the people, and then a little bit of this conflict slash negotiation piece. And that flips you over to program manager, which you're really trying to take these skills and then influence without authority and navigate higher levels of ambiguity. And so we will dive a little bit more into the ambiguity piece later on. Item two is PM methodology. So I can tell you for the specific program manager roles that I hired at Google, there was no PM methodology. So they weren't using Agile or they weren't using Scrum. It was really, what have you done in the past and how has it worked? And typically for program manager roles, because of the scope, you're probably not going to be tied to one methodology, but I'm sure at certain companies within certain groups, they do like for you to use a certain methodology some of the time. So that's a great question to be asking the hiring manager, be asking the recruiter, hey, is there a certain methodology that this team uses? Because it will really help how you prepare, but just overall don't be rigid, right? Certain scenarios are gonna call for certain items and just be thinking about that and really be focused on your strong examples, not the specific methodology you use to get the results. Item three, problem solving. Probably one of the most critical when you're interviewing for any role, but because again of the scope of the program manager role, this is really gonna be important. And so simply, I want you to talk about how you've identified, developed, structured, implemented, solved, and then ultimately monitored. Because of the complexity of your examples with problem solving, keep them brief. You can always go back to the interviewer at the end and even have it planned in where you say, are there any areas you would like me to clarify? Any follow-up questions? I kept it brief because of the complexity of the example that I had. Item four, leadership. This is so critical at any organization and oftentimes leadership comes without direct reports. You're an individual contributor. But I just want you to be thinking about some leadership concepts. So communication, obviously no program manager is gonna get the job without great communication skills, but also how do you innovate? How do you motivate? How are you working on a shared vision that sets those long-term goals for the organization, for the team? Again, you may not be leading people, but an ability to delegate, but also get your hands dirty when it's important. Uh, building trust, again, working on more of a project management skill of conflict resolution and negotiation, uh, decision-making, how do you present? How do you coach? There are so many items that go into leadership and this is a critical one and will be tested. And I can tell you at Google, this was extensively tested. Item five is data driven. And so of course, program managers are going to be heavily focused on metrics and just overall data. 
but I want to dig in just a little bit more. One of the pieces of feedback that I saw most often from the team that I had the most hires at Google was they didn't demonstrate an ability to drive results with data. So it wasn't just using data and how that helped. It was really taking that data and driving the program forward because you had that specific piece of information or pieces of information in most cases. I want to get back for, for item six to navigating ambiguity. There are so many unknowns in today's world. And so this is important again for any candidate, but for program managers where you're trying to influence across multiple groups, multiple teams, that's where this really becomes important. And then also the second reason is the pace of technology. Now we're seeing items come up every three months, every six months that will significantly impact how we move forward. And so knowing that sometimes you're moving forward with maybe an anticipated technology that might help the overall process, something else to be thinking about, but have two good examples in this space. You will absolutely be asked these questions and then expect follow-up questions, really how you dealt with it and how you push forward. Item seven, I love this one, adaptability, flexibility, fungibility. Uh, this is gonna be critical throughout and, and oftentimes it's about how you responded and navigated these really tricky situations. Your ability to continually flex and adapt. So your ability to have great examples, it's gonna help. And so be thinking about times where you've really flexed and adapted in your career. The last item is domain and technical. So really when you break down program management interview, it's going to be two parts. It's going to be behavioral, which is what we've heavily focused on because it's the area you can really prepare. And then the second is the domain and technical piece. And so as you think about the domain and technical piece, your first step is talking to the hiring manager, talking to the recruiter, and identifying really what the team needs are in these spaces because these are the areas where at least if you know the items, you can prep a little bit, but this is going to be skills that you already have. And then I want you to get a little bit more into thinking about it from a design and architecture perspective for domain and technical. So thinking about system design, thinking about architecture, thinking about technical specifications, technology fundamentals. I can tell you at Google, getting back to those fundamentals was critical. But what I found is that candidates were either great program managers and didn't have the technical domain, or they were great in the technical domain part, but the program management skills were weak, and usually it was one or the other that fell a little bit short. This is a ton of information, but if you're a program manager, you already know the role is extremely complex. So good luck. If there's anything that I can clarify, please let me know in the comments below and I can do a quick follow-up video. If you like my content, please like. If you have any comments, please comment. And if you like my overall content, please subscribe. Thanks so much.